Hey, Coach Jason with Arm Pitching Development, helping you amplify your mechanics and grow your pitching knowledge. All this by hitting the subscribe button. Hey, tonight I've got something fun for you guys. We uh, haven't shot this one yet, so not to present to you. Um, we got our chair here, and so we're gonna cover the chair drill in a couple of different variations and a couple of different workouts that you guys can work in at home and on your own to help you get better mechanically and uh, throwing wise too. Okay, so the first one I wanna to talk to you guys about uh, on the chair drill is working really the hip motion, the hip mobility of the chair drill and helping me getting to a better finished posture. So when I go into setup on this, what I'm gonna do is put my, my right leg as a right-handed thrower up on the chair, okay? And I'm going to come out not too far. I'm actually going to end up on this. But so what we want to do is this is more of a feel for me, and we'll do we'll do some uh, dry run throws as well with it. But what I wanted to simulate is the rotation of my hips coming through through the follow through portion of it. So essentially, when you get back and you're coming into your into your throwing motion and your mechanics and your throwing motion, and you come off, I want to feel the assemblance of getting my hips rotated and turned and bringing my, my throwing shoulder through my target a little bit further and completing the throw, okay? Um, this drill for me is not ideal on the finish piece and we'll cover that in just a minute. It's more about just feeling rotation and then working a little bit stronger on the left side hip flexor for me as a right-handed thrower. So again, you'll just be in here and then feeling the rotation out here and here. All right, so I thought it'd be nice to give you guys what it looks like uh, from a throwing perspective as well. If you have close quarters or you're throwing into a net or something at home, uh, this would be beneficial to you. So again, we're back up on the chair out uh, here. I'm slightly out front of uh, out front of my hip here, out front of my, my right leg. I just come with a kind of a set position here and then I'll rotate back over my, uh, my right hip, my ex doing some external hip rotation here and coming into throwing phase. As I do that, I'm just going to come back through, throw through the wall. Nice and easy. And just kind of feel that out. Maybe one time more for you guys here. Alright, so that's one variation. I'm going to show you guys one more. Alright, so you'll notice that I grabbed a medicine ball here and this will be variation two off of the throw on the side chair drill here. Again, I'm training uh, rotation through the hips, just a little bit more thorough here. This is a four pound medicine ball. What I'm going to do is wrench back here to make a throw and it's going to put a little more force into my, uh, into my hips and trying to train this just a little bit further. So again, I come back here, set, and then work down and through. So again, you'll, you'll feel it uh, through the, the core, your abdominals, and then you'll feel it on uh, your left hip flexor as a right-handed thrower, just a little bit further. But that's a, that's a couple of things you can do in terms of the side, chair, the side leg chair drill. And uh, now let's go into number two with that. Okay, so back on our second variation of our chair drill is actually more of a finish drill piece. So what I'm gonna do is put my back leg up on behind me and really what I'm trying to get through is you can have a towel, you can have uh, you know, plyo ball, we'll go through some of these throws here in just a minute. But what I'm trying to get through is more extension through the feel of the release point versus when I had the side out, it's more about the rotation of the hips and getting the shoulder through my target a little bit further. So on this drill here, you just set up in a kind of a split stance here. One thing to note is on your knee, if you feel like your knee is protruding over your toe, try to come out just a little bit further and stay back in your hips just a little bit more. And from here, you'll just come up, set up, and kind of get through. You might see I've got a weighted ball. I like to use weighted balls for feel of pitch, especially on my off speed. And that's something we'll talk about in a later video. All right, so we're back. We changed angles a little bit here. I'm gonna come up here and set up just to see how you guys, how we go through it on the throwing point. Again, my knees behind my, uh, behind my toe. I'm set here, go back into external hip rotation, come up and throw through. All right, so the second piece on that is we're gonna introduce the four pound medicine ball again on this uh, back leg chair drill. 
All so right, this one's going to be a little more trickier because we're going to add in some extra movements here. Again, make sure you're, you're set up. This one's going to test you guys pretty well here. I'm going to start with the med ball a little bit lower here, and then I'm going to work my way back up through my finish of my throw, okay? So we'll be down, back up, and through. All right, so that's our uh, couple of variations on our, cha our chair drill there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, and comment below. Hey, until we shoot the next one, I'll see you guys next time.